Hi guys, Dave here for Dave Outdoors and I'd like to show you today the cabbage tree. This is the base of the cabbage tree here and the part that we're going to be uh, taking off and trying to eat is this part here, this offshoot here. Uh, cabbage trees grow right throughout the whole country. You usually find them in um, stream edges or river edges, uh, in swampy areas, wherever there's a good supply of water and really good wet ground. Uh, they also grow, um, spring up in the bush as well, in open areas as well. They can grow up to about 20 meters, so quite a height. And the leaves of the cabbage tree on the mature ones can grow like a meter long. I even think there's a bit of oil in there. Apparently you can use them for fire lighting, which I'll take a look at some other time. But this is the part we're looking at. Uh, apparently what you can eat on these is the shoots and the base of the leaves. So don't worry about the fact that we're going to uh, pull this one off. This tree here is pretty hardy, a pretty tough tree. It's branching off already in at least three other areas. This one here is the fourth one. So we're just going to take this, this uh, piece down, this offshoot down, and open it up and see what we got. The cabbage tree provides a lot of nutrition and I think it's about 60% water in the shoots and the base of the leaves as well. So it's a really good survival food and it was also a very common source of food um, with the first settlers of New Zealand. Now the roots can also be eaten but I'll probably get into that in, in a different video. Um, what we're looking at here again is just the shoots and the base of the leaves. So let's see if we can find it. Here is our piece their uh, offshoot that we've uh, broken off or cut off and the shoot is we're just coming through the leaves here and just going to pull them out of the way getting towards the center of the plant oh yep you can see it there here it is here still this round shoot hasn't quite um, separated into individual leaves yet so it's just this round shoot here and just start peeling away everything around it to get into that shoot. As you see, a nice white core opening up inside of there. Uh, this thing doesn't go down without a fight. You really got to pull this thing. I believe those white bases can be eaten as well. Might need to get further into it, but I'll just try it. Uh, the only real danger there is it could be a bit, f not really dangerous, it could just be a bit fibrous. It's not too bad, it breaks up. Don't know if you could see it on there. The individual fibers sticking up, so it's a bit fibrous. Not harmful at all, I don't think. Here's our shoot. Just about there. Okay, here's our shoot here. <clears throat> now again, if you guys have any uh, comments or any suggestions or more knowledge about this, please put it in the comments down below. So it's all learning. Uh, this is the first time for me. But so as far as I know, you can keep eating, as long as you can keep peeling, you can keep eating all the white stuff all the way down. That's my understanding. So that shoot you can definitely eat. I'm just going to break that off. And that's what we got there. Yeah, those leaves are a bit too stiff to break off. Oh, well, let's try it. Yeah. You can cook them, or eat them raw. A little bit of a acidy sort of taste, I guess, you know, just slightly. I think when you cook it, the taste improves quite dramatically. But it's not a bad taste at all. Mm. 
yeah, it's not bad. You now you can keep eating down until it just gets too fibrous to eat. Breaks off really easy. Easy to eat. It's like got the consistency of cabbage, cabbage tree. Tastes a little bit like cabbage tree. And we'll just keep eating all the way up. Getting a bit green there, so don't want to get sick. I'm not sure if, if it's healthy. This is what else we got. So got that piece sticking up that we've just pulled all the leaves away from. Let's see what we can do there. On the inside, heaps more food by the looks of it. I mean, that's a, quite a long meal when you think about it. Quite a long meal. <laughs> Give it a bit of a clink. <clears throat> the core, I could see the trying to get to the core is what we want. On the outside, it's still got like the, the base of the leaves. It's still got, it's quite fibrous there on the outside. But let's see what we can do. See, we just cut into it a little bit. Clean up the outside a little bit. Just very, very lightly. Actually, I've been taking off too much of the outside, so I'm wasting a lot of the meat. Yeah, the shoot was definitely the better part. It was still edible, still tastes okay. A lot more crunchy. A bit too close to the fingers here. Need a bit of a chopping board or a log that I could just clean it up on, so. Had to throw it away after eating it, but I've done what I came here to do. Clean my knife off. SOG Creed, my favorite knife. Love this knife. Awesome bush knife. Give it a clean. And away. Okay guys, well, that's the cabbage tree. My insides are still on the inside, so I must have eaten all the good bits. But uh, yeah, it was relatively easy to get to. Uh, it's a good nutritious feed. There's a lot of lot of water in there, so um, if the water around here is too dank or too skanky to drink, you can get a um, replenish your fluids through here to some extent. So that's the cabbage tree. Thanks for tuning in, guys.